Okay, so we know that um, basically these exercises coming up, uh, like I spoke about in the last video, Cyber Polygon, and there are others too regarding other topics. Um, some big, some not so big. But anyway, none of that matters. What matters, uh, and the reason it doesn't matter is because um, it's just a whole plethora of things, and many of them probably really are just training things, but um, in the event that they're not, though, uh, they have to do, again, with consolidating and centralizing power onto the beast. And uh, these are things that happen in pretty much every country, so... Worldwide, um, they are centralizing and consolidating power for the beast. But uh, what I wanted to talk about is um, once that's actually accomplished, um, they will do the tablecloth event where they whip the tablecloth out that leaves only the monopoly of the beast system and their mega cities and infrastructure and what have you. Um, that event is World War III. Now, let's talk about how um, Chicom um, uh, and Russian fourth generation um, warfare actually fits into that whole scenario. Um, we know that they hold a lot of sway over organizations like the uh, WEF and that they can use things like that to run cover for their um, operations, such as when they actually do invade uh, Mystery Babylon, United States of America. And they will one day do that. I mean, it's not, it's not, and, it, and it's not that far off in the future. And I've talked ad nauseum, uh, spoken many times about uh, fourth-generation warfare, what it entails, and how it's the marriage of... Um, multiple technologies, uh, the biggest Trojan horse operation in the world, coupled with uh, Blitzkrieg. It's, it's all marrying those things together into one cohesive strategy. Um, and what, what's going to happen with that is that you're going to uh, find and see that a lot of uh, these things, like these drills and things like that, uh, figure into that also into that fourth generation strategy um, because they're going to use those things to their advantage in order, again, like I said, to run cover for uh, CHICOM cyber attacks, maybe even Russian or Iranian, whoever. It doesn't even matter. They're all, they all work together behind the scenes. And these uh, political parasites that have been installed into the uh, uh, regime in various positions that that also figures into it too because they were put there by uh foreign intel uh operations so you can basically look at it as happening on multi multiple dimensions uh multiple levels and it's all running simultaneously but it all leads up to the fact that uh when it's all said and done and everything goes offline you're not going to even know when we've gotten invaded or, or, or what's exactly going on because your communications are going to be gone and it's going to, it's, it's going to be impossible to know exactly what's happening until it's basically right over your head. And by that time, it's going to be too late. So I just wanted to talk a little more about that, put that all in your mind. May Yeshua bless and keep you all always.